Hi guys, my name is Giorgio Palazzi. This is 10 years that I'm living here in Kazakhstan. Today we will cook Karim Borpe and then we will have samsa recipes of the local cuisine that you will never even imagine what can be about and you will enjoy it a lot. Follow us all the time. Okay, today following the Silk Way, we are cooking very interesting dishes. So it will be samsa, which is, uh, you know, like a little, uh, it's a little package with inside delicious meat uh, and uh, onions and spices. And finally, karim borpe. So we will start from karim borpe. And this is uh, something that I want to explain before. Um, it's a typical dish, uh, which is coming out from the culture of uh, nomad people and uh, the culture of nothing has to be waste. We are using all the parts of the animal. In this case, we are talking about a sheep. So uh, in this case, we are cooking a very interesting combination of internal organs. We have the heart, we have the lung, lungs, we have meat, and we have the liver, and we have the intestine. So we have also a part of fat, which we will use to make this uh, a combination more, more tasty, more juicy. And the very interesting thing is that we will put all this ingredient together with vegetable, with onion, with garlic, with uh, some uh, ginger, some, I mean, whatever you are interested in. So inside the part of the stomach, we will put all this ingredient together and then we will close um, with some sticks. And this was made under, you know, the hot, um, uh, stones and after everybody eat the meal, the regular meal with the regular uh, um, meat and regular vegetables and whatsoever, this, like a bowl, a sack, was kept for the next nomad that will arrive in this camp and they will find under the ashes this bowl full of uh, meat and full of tasty things for them to eat. You know, not because the nomads has this culture of helping each other, of uh, not leaving the, you know, people without anything. So, let's start, because this is a long procedure. We will take, this is normal meat. I will cut a little part with the fat. Okay. In Florence, uh, if you go in Florence, but in many parts of Italy, you find uh, uh, many places where they cook this kind of part of the body of the animal, and they do like a sort of uh, goulash, you know, like a, a big uh, pan where they boil all these things all together, and they produce, you know, a juicy sauce where they dip the bread, and then they cut the pieces, and they put inside the bread, and they eat it like a sandwich. So. This is one of the things that we can say that put in common all the civilizations everywhere in the world. This is the liver of the sheep. I also cut a little piece. Then we have the heart. This is the heart. You can see small size. I will take half. And these are the lungs. I will take also a piece. And then these are the intestines. So I took all my meat, all my parts, and now I'm going to chop it in small pieces. We are continuing to cut the various parts. Now I will cut also the lungs. The lungs, it's a very tricky meat because, uh, you know, it's spongy. So it's very difficult to control the cut, you know. In this case, even the sound, you can feel it. It's like you're cutting a sponge. I will take out uh, the veins, you know, the vases, the arterias that are inside because they are a little bit uh, gummy and they make a little bit not pleasant to chew. But remind, don't forget that these things will cook for a long time. In this case, we will do it 
uh, steamed. So to make it more, you can also use in the in the oven with the, some water inside the oven to produce the steam. Now, to complete this dish, I need, of course, to cut onions, which is one of the main ingredients. And, very interesting, I'm giving a piece of the fat from the tail of the sheep. Because here in Kazakhstan, Mongolia, in this area of the part of the world, they have a kind of sheep that grow the fat just below the tail. So you can see, like, this sheep with the Brazilian back, you know, like, uh, very, <laughs> very shapey and very big. So this part of uh, the, the sheep, it's uh, a fat that is uh, more healthy. So now, let's cut a piece. Not too big, not too small. And of course, again, we will put pieces of this in the mix. Let me tell you a secret. In this country, of course they don't have olive oil. And of course they use the fat because this makes uh, the moisture and make it more soft. But if you want to avoid the fat, you can take out all the fat and use olive oil. So, the onion, as I told you, it makes the thing, the, the, the dish juicy. Very juicy and very tasty, of course, because the onion is uh, one of the main uh, uh, vegetable that we use in kitchen because of the how they can transform a very normal and uh, annoying dish in a very interesting and tasty dish. So I will cut in little cubic and I will mix with the meat. Together we will put also the spices. So let's put everything in the our container. Let's put the meat with the fat. And now, I will put a little bit of chili pepper, little bit of pepper, black pepper. This is laurus. For the meat, is one of the best spices you can put. And to make it like a sort of uh, amalgama, a little bit of flour. And now we mix. Okay, last couple of things. Of course, salt, because without salt it would be tasteless. And this is something that is my personal touch. I like very much the chili pepper and this is the delicious coriander. Okay, now we are ready to do, as I told you, the little pocket. So this pocket will stay under the ashes for the other nomads to arrive and to enjoy the food. To tell you the secret how to make uh, this kind of things without any smell, you have to wash it very, very carefully. Kazakh people has a very great experience of doing this kind of dish and using this kind of material without having smell. But if you want to make it fast, you can also wash it with soda or lemon or vinegar. So this will keep the smell out of it. So now, as you can see, we have the pocket and we start to fill the pocket with our stuff. I am very fascinated on the fact that uh, people uh, that were enjoying the food were thinking also about other people that are not present in this moment and maybe are people that they don't know. So, but the tradition want that they leave something for others. And this is uh, what exactly Marco Polo found, because when Marco Polo arrived in this part of the world, he was astonished and he wrote it in his book. You know, even one uh, uh, little yurta, they have only one animal. If you are arriving as, you know, 
lost in the Euro, lost in the step, and uh, they wanted to help. Of course, they will help you. They will kill the only animal they have in order to make you feel comfortable and to feed you. In this case, we are doing what's really uh, nomad style, really Kazakh style. We have our pocket that is almost, you know, ready. And I will start to close it with these sticks in order that it doesn't come out. So I finish, I close our Karim Borpe. We will put our package in the pan with the holes and below you have another pan that is boiling the water. So this it will become steamed. There we are, we are ready. We will put it on the water. Karim Bortpe. Finally chop the meat and offal. Add onions, tail fat, flour, salt, and mix all the ingredients. Stuff the stomach with this mixture and tie with thread or skewers. Steam the dish for one and a half hour. Karim Bortpe or Karim Burme is an ancient Kazakh dish. It contains a stomach stuffed with meat and offal. A stomach Karim is used as a casing. It's like a pot in which the stuff is baking or boiled. Thanks to it, it was convenient to bake food on hot stones or coals without using utensils or crochet. Our second dish of today. We have, uh, worldwide, they are cooking uh, some uh, dishes that you can eat it, for example, in the street, you can eat it like uh, opening, uh, like uh, antipasto. And in uh, Kazakhstan, they like to cook the samsa. Some size, like uh, you can have it in different forms, different shapes, but uh, it's practically a pocket that you can put inside various kinds of meat. In this case, we will do it with chicken. First of thing, we will do the, uh, we will prepare the, the dough. Flour. And then, I will immediately put some salt our water and a little bit of oil to give the crispy sensation on the surface. All right, now mixing. Okay guys, now you know the the, the dough is ready. I will make it rest, cover it a little bit, and put it aside. So, as I said, we will use chicken. Chicken breast is something very dry. We will do two little secrets, two little tricks. One, I will use, remember I told you that the, the sheep on this part of the world has a big amount of fat on the back. And I will use a little piece of this to mix with the chicken. Then, what I will do, I will put a, a spoon of water inside together with the chicken so that when the chicken will start to, to fry inside, you know, the, the pocket of, um, of the dough, it will produce like a sort of, uh, like say, broth, like a sort of liquid, which it will make it even more moisture. So, first of all, I will cut again my onion because also the onion will it's part of the recipe okay also I will cut it in little cubes in order not to to make it cook faster. As I told you, I will cut now a little piece of fat. 
to mix with the chicken. And also I will cut it in little pieces. This has to melt to make a, 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 like a juice to help the chicken to be smooth and to be not uh, the sensation of a dry thing in your mouth. And there we are. I will do like a sort of paste on. There. There we are. And now, I will cut the chicken. I will take half of the breast, it's enough. I will cut it in little pieces so they can fit comfortably inside the pocket. So guys, as you can see, chicken is done. I cut it in little cubes. Now I will put salt. Like every dish, salt is basic to give the taste. And as a final touch, I will also put some black pepper. Our dough has been resting and you can see it because watch, he has a very smooth appearance. Everything has been relaxing. Now, we are going to prepare our samsa. Samsa cooked in tandoor. Combine the water, flour, and vegetable oil and knead firm dough. Leave it in a cold place until you finish making the stuffing. Finally chop the onion, add spices and salt. Then, finally chop lamb, soot, and meat to make the stuffing. You can add two spoons of water to make the stuffing juicy. Mix all the ingredients, shape pieces of dough into quite small discs, place some stuffing on them, pinch the edge of dough together to seal it and bake it in tandoori oven. However, we will cook them in the oven at the temperature of 180 to 100 Celsius for about 20 minutes. So, I will take one dose. For me, it will be like a medium size. And of course, uh, like you can imagine, everybody can prepare so many different shapes. I will do a very simple one, which is the round shape that when you could close it, it will become oval. I wanted to make, to make it equal everywhere. In this case, I like it to work uh, with the hands because it's uh, like, uh, I don't know if you heard about it, but uh, when you work uh, the dough with the hand, it gives your energy, you pass it to the, to the dough. And it's uh, quite more tasty. I don't know if it is a real or a legend, but everybody tells me that it's much better when you do it with your hands. Otherwise you have this instrument that you can flat the, 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 the dough with the wood. This is our inside. Mm -hmm. We close it. It's like a giant ravioli, you know? We can close it using, you know, the, 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 the fork to give the ceiling of the borders. Okay, so now I will do a few others of these and then we will go to the tandoor oven. In the tandoor, in the oven. Okay, now we put it inside the oven. Samsa is a national dish of many people living in Kazakhstan. These pies can come in various shapes and be square or rectangular. 
They can be cooked using either unfermented dough or puffy pastry. The samsa stuffing contains minced mutton, beef, or chicken mixed with onion and spices. Soot, chives, pumpkin, or potatoes are often added too. So guys, now our dishes are ready. Remember the stomach of the sheep that we fill it with all the meat and all the, 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 the fat that we were finding in the back of the sheep. This are our samsa. This is the salad with a very simple ingredient, tomatoes and, and uh, onion. Now, enjoy your meal. This is one suggestion I give you. Use the sauce of this salad to fill your samsa and to eat it together. Very nice, very simple, and very unusual. Buon appetito, guys.